In 1791, Alexander Hamilton, the first Secretary of the Treasury, drafted a detailed letter of instructions to the newly commissioned commanding officers of the first revenue cutters. These officers constituted the first of a long line of officers who have served to protect the interests and the people of the United States. After more than 200 years, Secretary Hamilton's words are just as relevant to newly commissioned officers of the United States Coast Guard as they were when first written. Gentlemen, while I recommend in the highest terms to the respective officers, activity, vigilance, and firmness, I feel no less solicitude that their deportment may be marked with prudence, moderation, and good temper. Upon these last qualities, not less that the former, must depend the success, usefulness, and consequentially continuance of the establishment in which they are included. They will always keep in mind that their countrymen are freemen, and as such, are impatient of anything that bears the least mark of a domineering spirit. They will, therefore, refrain with the most guarded circumspection from whatever has a semblance of haughtiness, rudeness, or insult. This reflection and a regard to the good of the service will prevent at all times a spirit of irritation or resentment. They will endeavor to overcome difficulties, if any are experienced, by a cool and temperate perseverance in their duty, by address and moderation, rather than by vehemence or violence. The former style of conduct will recommend them to the particular approbation of the President of the United States, while the reverse of it, even a single instance of outrage or intemperate or improper treatment of any person with whom they have anything to do with in the course of their duty, will meet with this pointed displeasure and will be attended with corresponding consequences. The foregoing observations are not dictated by any doubt of the prudence of any of those to whom they are addressed. These have been selected with so careful an attention to character as to afford the strongest assurance that their conduct will be that of good officers and good citizens. Signed, your obedient servant, Alexander Hamilton, Secretary of the Treasury, June 4, 1791. As the Coast Guard has grown and evolved into a 21st century military service, we are ever mindful of these principles set forth by Alexander Hamilton, which continue to guide each and every commissioned officer in the Coast Guard as they continue a legacy of service started by our founding father, Alexander Hamilton.